each country that that endures state of emergency, you have enough people who believe in it. They are not educated to the damage it does over the medium and long term. So imagine, imagine that somebody has cancer and they get some morphine. That's why it's called morphinization. They get some morphine and they feel so good that they put up their hand and say, nurse, can I get some more morphine? But, but we're still waiting for the surgery. <laughs> we're still waiting for the surgery. But the morphine feels so good that you become an addict. And Caribbean people, and let me just name the countries, Jamaica, Trinidad, Belize, three most violent countries in the region. All three countries are, are at this stage addicted to morphine. They are addicted to state of emergency. You see, the people who don't get restricted as much, they call for states of emergency. Yeah. I, so, yeah. so, we divide, so we divide ourselves into inner city and outer city. Mm -hmm. And the outer city people want the state of emergency because they're not the ones restricted immediately. Mm -hmm. And then a part of the inner city people want it because the last time it felt good. But at the end of the day, your children still don't have more food. They still don't have a, a great opportunity to go to school. Their parenting structures are shattered because the parents are all over the place trying to, to get a shilling. Yes. And, and, and the mess is still there. So if you arrest somebody, if you arrest 100 young men, 100 young men will not stay in prison for the rest of their lives. 99 are going to return to the streets. When they return, they should be within a system such as uh, cure violence, something that, that has somebody who's a mentor assigned to them to get them employed and get them or into school or occupied in some way. That's called redeployment. Mm -hmm. Then their little brothers and their sisters and their mothers who depend on them for food, illegal food. Let's go again. Let's go again. Mm -hmm. There's mommy, mama, the number one dependent on food from a criminal. Yes, man, I said it this morning. Mm -hmm. Then there's sister and little brother. Those three are waiting on David. Let's call him David for food. If you don't have the redeployment of combatant, you haven't solved anything. Because as soon as you, you bat your eyes and as soon as the soldiers and police get tired, they are going to catch and kill.